What's going on YouTube? My name is Dian Rice and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm playing Call of Duty Ghosts on the map uh, Freight using the MTAR X. Uh, but this video is not about the gameplay. Today I'm talking about I'm making a commentary about E3 or my thoughts so far about it. Obviously, yesterday was like the beginning of like uh, day zero. They they would call it. I guess you would call it having all these press conferences from like Ubisoft, Microsoft. Hey, that rhymes. Sony, uh, EA, things like that. Well, I wanted to talk about like some of the games I saw from those press conferences and really which ones would have caught my eye. Uh, obviously, yes, I am a PC gamer, as you see right now. What you're seeing is PC game gameplay, as you saw from the beginning of the video. But some games, uh, especially during Microsoft press conference, really caught my eye. Today, uh, right now, Sunset Overdrive is one of the games where I figured that Microsoft was playing a good deal with uh, with the developers. It is only an exclusive to the game uh, to Xbox One, which it's kind of sucked, but. That game itself is, I don't know how to explain it, it's more like a cartoonish, like, team shooter kind of thing, kind of like a, an arena, not an arena shooter, sorry. I meant, like, team defense, like, tower defense style kind of gameplay, but then the main character who, uh, forgot his, I for, really forgot his name, but sorry about that, but his, the main character can grind on, like, rails, and I was like, holy shit, that just brings, like, uh... A good amount of gameplay right there is like going between point A to point B just on a grinding of a rail. I actually really like that kind of technique. I want to see how that implements well into the gameplay. Looking forward to playing it. I mean, maybe I'll play like a demo, maybe or at my friend's house because I don't have the Xbox One yet. But I'll talk about that later. Uh, one of the other games from Microsoft that I saw uh, definitely was uh, the Rise of Tomb Raider. Oh man. When I saw Crystal Dynamics uh, game from t the Tomb Raider, the one that they made last year, or uh, last year or two years ago, either way, that game when they announced it, I wasn't I was greatly surprised at how well they actually rebooted the game. Seeing this one now, seeing how it's going to be like the rise of like it says Rise of Tomb Raider, I wanted to see like how I guess you could say maybe it's a game between that Tomb Raider of Crystal Dynamics to like Tomb Raider one back all the way from uh, fuck, 1990s I think it's called or it was that year something like that anyways but I want to see that gameplay I I'm I love the Tomb Raider series as a kid I didn't play all of them I started maybe with Tomb Raider Legend and then I went back to like three and four I think I remember, if I remember correctly but Tomb Raider is a good series that I'm looking forward to playing uh, let's see what else from Microsoft's oh what the hell am I I forgot the Halo Master Chief Collection. My God! Once I saw that, when I once I saw that bundle of four games for sixty dollars, I was like, "Holy shit!" They definitely did something right. Obviously, it's only for Xbox One, but I really hope that should have went to the uh, PC side. Maybe that's a big maybe. Developers I uh, heard from today were considering it, bringing it over, but you never know. We'll see what happens. But. Yeah, if you guys don't, the Master Chief Collection is pretty much Halo 1 through 4, without ODST obviously, because it wasn't where Master Chief was shining, but yeah, the Halo Combat Anniversary Edition, since Halo 2 is going to have its 10th anniversary this coming year, they've decided to revamp that game up, and I was like, holy wow, and then Halo 3 obviously is in there as well, and Halo 4 is the last one. But the biggest kicker I saw is that they're bringing back the multiplayer of Halo 2, and I'm like, oh man, back as a kid, like, I didn't play Halo 2 as multiplayer because I didn't have the Xbox at the time, the original Xbox at the time, but once I saw it at my friend's house and we started playing it so much, and I'm like, damn, this thing was like a game changer in a sense. All, all that online multiplayer, I mean, the start of Xbox Live, honestly, that's how it really started, dude. So I was like, holy, wow, that's a good, that's a good thing they're bringing back. I can't wait to play that again, maybe. I don't know, we'll see what happens on that one. But then the last game that I saw, from the, at least from the Microsoft press conference, was Crackdown. At least Crackdown. You guys don't remember that game? Anyone remember that game? No one probably does. The only reason many people bought Crackdown was because it had, at the time, the beta access to Halo 3. Yep, the multiplayer of Halo 3 pretty much was in beta stages, and they gave it out for that particular game called Crackdown. That's what many people will know about it, but the Crackdown itself is kind of like an open world, like, open world 
uh, destruction kind of gameplay, kind of like Just Cause 2s or like maybe Grand Theft Auto in a sense. But in this case, uh, uh, Crackdown, you're like a super soldier coming out from what they call the agency. Now this agency, if maybe if you saw the trailer already, but the voice of the agency is like something that brought me back to what that gameplay is. Like hell, I was just playing it last night. Just just open world destruction, gun, gunplay kind of things. I was like, holy wow. I can't wait till that thing comes out. I'm hoping that would go onto the PC aside as well, but you know, it's an exclusive and I honestly once I saw that game it's like as soon as I, I literally put it into my Twitter feed right after it's like oh this that seals the deal I want an Xbox one now and to be honest right now I kind of do want it but since that game's not gonna be out for a while I'll probably put hold off on getting the game right now but I don't know we'll see what happens with that one uh, let's see what's next next oh yeah mirrors edge from EA Oh uh, man, from, from the select few that actually did like the Mirror's Edge series, I or at least the series, the actual game itself, at least the first one, that was a good game. I mean, the first person parkouring, just the, it's beautiful. The game was beautiful at the t at its, for its price, and how vi visually how they did all these like particular parkouring stunts, having all these like bad guys uh, trying to grab. I guess you just like grab all these like free runners that were going against this agency or not agency the company that was taking over the I guess you say like taking over the city or whatever it works. But visually, that game was so well done. I'm so I would be so glad if they bring they're gonna bring it back. And once I saw that tech demo that or the, yeah the tech demo that they gave us, I'm really hoping they do well. Mirror's Edge Two should do well, but obviously that was just a demo and hope or. Uh, Sorry, a prototype, not a demo. Sorry, that prototype. Hopefully, that hopefully they'll do something well with it. But I don't know. We'll see what happens with that one. Uh, jeez, what's next? Tom Clancy did the Division. Okay, the Division looks really nice. I I kind of wanted to play because I never actually played the Tom Clancy game myself. But uh, in a sense, maybe it's something new. I want to do something that it's something new. It's obviously it takes place in like like kind of Black Friday Christmas sales of um, Black Friday Christmas sales of New York City at the time so it looks all like run down has snow everywhere so it's freaking cold as hell kind of kind of that idea so hopefully they do something well with it the gameplay from what I saw especially what EA uh, brought to the table uh, EA sorry Ubisoft brought to the table with it I'm hoping they do something well with it they they need to do something well with that game just to help help out I guess you could say uh, the game po this gameplay is about to be over as yeah as we see as you see right now from the timers about maybe four or five kills left. Uh, I do talk about I do want to do one more game and that one's called the Crew. The Crew from Ubisoft was uh, is an amazing game. It's an amazing racing game that they call like a car RPG type kind of game where you have you're well you're racing cars honestly like across continents with like two hours plus missions apparently and do like certain amount of gameplay but maybe I'll talk about that in the next my next video of E3 because I think I need might need to make another one uh, thank you for watching this video of mine uh, obviously this is something new for me so commentaries are gonna be really really like practicing for me so I hope to see you guys soon as you can see I went 16 and 3 hey look another diamond I'll see you guys soon and I'll see you in the next one make sure you click the links that are about to show up and I'll see you next time